Hi, this is Puffin. Today we're going to test some alcohol stoves and see how they burn. I have three different alcohol stoves we're going to test. Before we get into the testing, let me show you these stoves and exactly what I think of them. The first stove is this one right here. This is a capillary hoop stove. The capillary hoop stove was developed by some backpackers in Japan and it's designed to boil water extremely rapidly, have a quick boot up time, and get you in and out as fast as you can when you're cooking. The second stove I have is this one right here. This is a Trail Designs 1210 stove. The Trail Designs stove is sold by them online, and I really liked this stove when I first started backpacking on the Appalachian Trail. I did find that it was a little bit larger than what I wanted, and in particular I found it was hard to fit inside my cook pot. I ended up trimming off the primer pan, and it made it a little easier to fit, but I thought there might be a better solution. So then I made this. This is the Puffin Stove, my design and my build. It's made from a cat food can, a Red Bull can, and the bottom of a soda can. And it's smaller and lighter weight than the other two, and I really like the way it burns. Especially with a simmer ring, I can cook food and simmer it for a very long time with a small amount of fuel. So we're going to first test these three stoves, each with the same amount of alcohol, to see how long they burn. So here we're going to get started by adding 30 cc's of ethanol, first to the 1210 stove, then to the puffin stove, and finally to the capillary hoop stove. We're going to light them all up here. Then start our timer. And then so we can see a little better, I'm going to dim the lights. Alcohol can be a little hard to see when it's light, so uh, this makes it easier to see what's going on. Five minutes into the test, all the stoves are fired up and going strong here. But it's not long before the capillary hoop stove burns out at 7 minutes and 20 seconds. A couple minutes later, the 1210 stove burns out at 9 minutes 25 seconds. At 10 minutes, Puffin stove still is going strong and it's got a little bit less than a minute to go. And finally at 10 minutes and 50 seconds, the Puffin stove gives up the ghost. So as you can see, when these stove burns, they burn at slightly different rates. The capillary hoop stove startups fast, burns intensely, but burns out much quicker than the other two stoves. The 1210 stove lasts longer, and the puffin stove lasts the longest of the three. With 30 cc's of alcohol in the stove, it burns for almost 11 minutes. That's plenty of time to boil a large amount of water, and you could probably use half that amount to boil enough water to cook one meal. So now we're going to do the simmering test. Uh, both of these stoves have simmer rings. The puffin stove has an aluminum ring that slides down around the stove, and the 1210 stove has this really nice titanium ring that drops on very, very nicely. We're going to fill both stoves with 20 cc's of ethanol, first the 1210 stove, and then the puffin stove. Both stoves are lit here, just checking to make sure they're going. It's hard to see in the light that they're burning. 
the timer started. We're going to dim the lights down here. And then three minutes into the test, you can see they're both simmering nicely. Nice low flames here for both of them. Fifteen minutes into the test, they're both burning nicely. Twenty-five minutes into the test here. And then finally, at about 28 minutes and 45 seconds, the 1210 stove burns out. 30 minutes, the puffin stove is still going. 40 minutes, it's still going. And then finally, at about 46 minutes and 25 seconds, the puffin stove burns out. So as you can see, with the simmer rings in place, these stoves will burn for a very, very long time. I put only 20 cc's of fluid in each of these stoves for the simmer ring test, but they both burn for well over two or three times the amount of time that they did without the simmer ring. I found it really interesting to calculate how much fuel these stoves burn. The capillary hoop stove burned almost four cc's of fuel per minute. At the other end of the spectrum, the puffin stove with a simmer ring in place burned fuel at one-tenth that rate at only four-tenths of a cc per minute. So you can see with one of these more efficient stoves, particularly with a simmer ring in place, a very small amount of fuel can be used to cook a meal. For me, when I'm cooking pasta sides or some other dish on the trail, and I'm interested in a lot more than just boiling water, these stoves work really fabulous for my needs. And that's why I like them so much. If you're interested in Puffin's stove, look for my video on how to make it. Mm -hmm.